That is your greetings and salutations and welcome once again to the K Plus Crusaders live from Empire's Comics Vault. Yeah! 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 yeah. Woo! Woo! God, they... Uh, my name is David Barry at Dr. Barry on varying social media platforms. You might notice we didn't have any music, slightly trimmed down setup. Uh, it's because we ate too much of Thanksgiving. Um, and this Thanks. is the cleanse uh, before the new year so we can get our springtime bodies back. Um, like I said, my name is David Barry <laughs> at Dr. Barry on varying social media platforms. Hey, how about to my left, we have. Oh, wait. I'm your left this time? This I don't know. I'm really confused. This Hi, you guys. True. I haven't seen you in like a month. This is Amy. You can find me at IJNewRobot on pretty much all the social media. Except for Pinterest. That's Pipe's thing. I don't, I don't touch that. It was originally that. my thing. Oh. I know. But it's okay. So if I alley-ooped it with my throwing skills that way. Yeah, it goes on my head and goes through the couch. Yay, couch! Embracing his inner Clark Griswold. This is the Azorian one, Anthony Steves. Holiday road. And on I that note, <laughs> happy holidays from everyone here at the K Plus Crusaders, uh, including us and those not in attendance. We have uh, Justin Piper, mm. that is uh, the Mad Piper. His Majesty. His Majesty. Uh, we also have Curtis at Calm Down Warning, at Existential Romeo, uh, and Thomas Pet Borisuth. <laughs> uh, who's down in Los Angeles? Hopefully not on fire. Hopefully he's okay. Um, we, haven't heard from, we haven't heard from him in a while. Yeah, we have. I did. I texted him yesterday. He's fine. <clears> Good. Sorry, he's glad way. to hear it. I'm getting sick. And I'm going to cough a lot in this episode. I apologize in advance. I have a stuffed up nose, so you're going to hear funny noises. Tall, dark, not ugly. That's Tom's I never handle, said. by the, the way. Fix. I never said. So welcome to the Capeless Crusaders. Stripped um, down. Stripped down edition. Oh. And now exclusively... On Twitch. Hey, oh. you can find all of our content every day, pretty much, on Twitch. We have Piper Gaming. We have us doing our podcasts. Uh, and that is brought to you in part by Computer Booter. Yeah. Computer Booter that I don't have the logo for because strip down setup. They are <laughs> a local computer mobile device repair shop, retro game store, and lounge here in Sacramento, California. They're awesome. They're a lot of fun. You should go down and check them out. We're also brought to you in part... By Empire's Comics oh. Vault, this comic book store that we are residing in oh. currently, now, as we speak. Yeah, we are. So, speaking of which, we're speaking? when we're in a comic book store, yes. <gasps> don't yell at the mic too much. When we're in a comic book store, we when we're surrounded by oh, comic guys, books, we? look that way, we, we like to go round the horn. <laughs> What is that? What? He was, uh, Holiday Road. How is that a horn? There's a horn he that into morphed it. into <laughs> Holiday Road. Griswold. He's in He's in character. Holiday Can't mode. I can tell. I can tell. As you can holiday. see, we have our, our holiday blanket that might also have the crest of Portugal. Shh, we won't say. Uh, we also have our holiday lights that happen to be blue and white because Hanukkah. we're inclusive. Hanukkah. Yes, some of our favorite heroes and villains are of Jewish heritage. This is true. Hey. Magneto, this is true. Ben Grimm, so on, mm -hmm. Kitty Pride. But like I said, when we're in a comic book store, we like to go around the horn. Now we go around the horn, we go around the table in a circular fashion, yes. except for the fact that we no longer have a circular table. Correct. Which I'm going to be honest, it's like probably like Ghost of Christmas Past status yeah. since Ooh. we had a round table. I'm not actually 100% sure. So, rectangle. What we do is we talk about the comics we have been reading this week, or last week, or last month, or if it's been a while, you can just pull one out of the old <laughs> library, Amelia. Yeah. Um, I know you've been busy. So, Steve's. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How about you start us off, bud? What have you been reading? Uh, the last one that I did read was, uh, actually two I read, well, I read nobody's already. But anyway. Uh, the Doomsday <laughs> Clock. Ooh, I read that one. Because Platoon I already read the week before. So yeah, Doomsday yeah, Clock yeah. from DC is what I've been reading. Uh, as someone who is who has seen pages of the original Watchmen comic, but not read the entire thing through really? entirely, uh, but saw the movie okay. and loved the movie immensely. Um, but I know I know enough of the comic to know where this takes place and okay. go from there. Good. Uh, it's outstanding. Of it's not where the direction it's going. It, has, it, it tells a good tale at the beginning that kind of mimics things that are occurring today. Interesting. Ooh. In our uh, in our society. Would you say there was a president golfing? You could say there was a president golfing. Could you say there's a certain former Soviet country causing issues? I believe there is a former Soviet country causing issues. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
social commentary. Mm. Uh, the story takes place four years after, six years after the events of The Watchmen. Okay. And uh, it somehow connects that story with a certain DC universe, including <gasps> one of their top dogs. Oh. That's what I'm going to say. Swamp Thing. Yes. He yes. could be there down Booster the road. Gold. Oh, oh, now that'd be amazing if he's him. in this story. He probably is somewhere. I will applaud that. But anyway, uh, it's a good start uh, starting point. I like where it's <clears> headed. <throat> Blending these characters together. Finally, the Watchmen are in the DC Universe, and I'm excited to see where Jeff Johns takes them. My favorite part was at the end, where it said that it was dedicated to Len Wein. Yes. Aww. Len Wein, the creator of Swamp Thing, one of my favorite characters of all time. <laughs> they dedicated it to him. And I actually really appreciate because, you know, Jeff Johns... He's uh, he's been out of the game for a little bit. He has not speech. written in a minute because he's being you know Mr. Corporate 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 Corporate, and he did a bang up job. Sure, he still got it. He's I mean it was on par with the way I felt when I first started Watchmen. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Guy. So Amy, do you want to? Yeah. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Did you read I read IKEA? a lot. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old standby, Curtis's IKEA catalog. <laughs> I read a lot uh, over the last couple of weeks. There we go. A ton. Uh, I'm going to stick to two that I actually really enjoyed Okay. Um, that might be surprising. Um, one of which is, of course, an independent book because Tim. Uh, <laughs> I read a book called Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. You kept talking about this. I like, can't stop talking about this. So the, the premise of Four Kids Walk Into a Bank uh, is it follows a group of uh, four, uh, we'll call, I guess, maybe teenagers. They might be teenagers. Um, they're all friends. They're nerds, um, kind of social outcasts, and uh, they play Dungeons and Dragons together. Uh, it's very Stranger Things meets Paper Girls. Oh, okay. you mean like the t-shirt <clears throat> I'm wearing? Yes, yeah, like the t-shirt Stranger you're wearing. Things. Yay! Um, but it the, it centers around the fact that the the girl in the group um, does not know that her father used to be a criminal, um, and she now finds out that her dad. Um, to help his old gang who just got out of prison is going to rob a bank. So, Ooh. as any good child does, you to dissuade, it. no, you rob it first. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> this is true. <laughs> That's this what, is yeah. So now we have four teenagers who come up with a way to rob a bank. Um, it's extremely well done. It has a great twist at the end. Like, did not see it coming, made me kind of well up a little bit. Ooh. It was very strong. Um, the art is phenomenal. Um, and. Can't remember the writer, but he's doing a lot of Marvel right now. It's from Black Mask Publishing. It's called Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. The other one. Okay, now this is going to be the surprise. Y'all ready for this? I read all 19 what? issues what? of Cyborg. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. See comics? Oh, yeah. I appreciate what you got going on right now. Yeah. So, I was inspired... I I was inspired because after I saw Justice League, I appreciated. He was a good cyborg. I appreciated yeah. Cyborg, okay, okay. and I was, and they gave him a lot of depth. And I'm like, you know what? I want to go back and I want to see. I want. I'm feeling this. I want to see the source. They did, I think, a great job of referencing the Rebirth, the Rebirth title. Yep. Um, it is actually written um, by a. Uh, He's a screenwriter. Um, he doesn't actually have a lot of work in comics. He has a lot of work in comic TVs. He actually wrote for the Spider-Man cartoon in the 90s. Nice. Um, he has a lot of uh, screenwriting things under his belt, and so this time he took on um, Cyborg, and he's been writing it the entire time. He's writing all 19 issues, and it's been one consistent arc. Like, there's break, there's breakdowns, but you know a lot of times it's like six issues, trade, six issues, trade, story, story, story. This one, there are a couple, like, characters that maybe only last an arc, but the overall story lasts the length of the 19 issues. Um, it's really well done. I love the artwork. Um, a couple of my favorite artists randomly came in and did an, an issue here and there. Uh, maybe gave, gave me a lot of respect for the depth that the character has uh, and made me really excited for what, um, what goes on. So I really like Cyborg. Uh, as an afterthought, just to give you even another minute, um, if you're not reading Doctor Strange right now, you need to. A certain character made an epic return the last page of the last issue. <gasps> Amy. What do you got? So, first off, I got to get some a uh, quick shout out to a new follower cuz I so dang excited. Rainbow, I know we were hanging out over in another uh streamer's wink wink uh chat the other day and she's Alaska. Wink, wink. Alaska. 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 In Anchorage no less. So, you know. Huh. Annie who skis is um, they have ice. That we have la it's so it's so The proposal nice. was filmed there. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. We were really mad about that. Anyway, that um, so me reading, I 
graciously held thank you attack four in chat cryptocracy by Van Jensen and Pete Woods. Wait, do you have people helping you in the chat? It was in my bag for like a couple of months. Did, did you read it? She has a script. I gently crushed it. She has a script. <laughs> Um, actually, one, though, that I really am excited to because Fiona said, hey, don't be getting the news monkey in on this, dude. Where's my He's... script, news monkey? No, you leave him alone. He's on vacation. This tea closet. is really hot. Stay in your closet. I know. <clears throat> I know. Do, you want, do you want me to take out that the bag so you can? Right. Any who's And And uh, one that I'm actually really, really excited to, and I've had it. I've been so busy this last month. Um, I started reading it, and I liked it. It's uh, Mystery Society and Fiona Staples. He's uh, drawing it, and it's Steve Niles. Steve Niles? And Fiona Staples. And so... You're reading her script. I know, but let me tell you. <laughs> but there's a, but there's a reason Steve why you got to get mad about Steve this Niles. This sounds great. Steve, Steve Niles is... Um, it's a panda. Uh, he is a, a horror writer. Oh, okay. Um, October mm -hmm. Faction, I, Frankenstein. I've heard of I, Frankenstein. Uh, 30 Days of Night. Oh, Days yeah. Night. Well, these are movies yeah, yeah. that are... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's... Ooh, stay inside. He's fantastic. So... Is it good? Yes. That's good. It's and I've only great. like I'm only four I'm only four pages in. That's so okay. right now. It's called what again? Mystery Society. Mystery I'm Society. down with that. And the cover is Mystery. is it's all Fiona. It's all Fiona. Fiona Staples is fantastic. Fiona She's Staples uh, she drew glorious. um Saga. Ding. Thank you. Ah, I've I've seen seen uh, I'm, I'm North, slowing down. Northlanders. It was the Viking. She did a version of that one. She Myth. also did the first five issues of Archie. Was that Brian Wood or Brian K. Vaughn who did Northlanders? Uh Vaughn. Oh, so good. Yeah. This tea is so freaking hot. Um, <laughs> proper British cup. Proper cup British cup of tea. I like mine okay. with a little bit of milk and sugar because it cools it off and I can just down it. That doesn't cool it off. That has no cooling properties. I wouldn't trust the creamer. First off, so, Rainbow Dragon, um, I apologize that it is an ice, uh, worse, worse than, than a skating rink right now. Anchorage is like notorious for that. I, I believe it. I have you know never seen Anthony, did you real snow in my life like more than like three times. Um, Was that... So Tim, there? Tim is asking if you read this book. Oh, I've so Tim. This is the nice copy of Jurassic Park. This one just goes on the shelf in the living room for people to see. Oh, you mean like my copy of Ready Player One that you haven't finished? <clears throat> so just there, like that, is there a Jurassic Park comic book? There is. I actually own it. Then never mind. You can carry on. Thank you, Amy. It also comes with a playing <laughs> card. Because I, I had might, no answer. I might have given it to you for Christmas, but I like it a little too much. I had no answer for that, so thank you. Because uh, the original copy that I have with the movie logo, uh, the cover is almost completely off. This is completely torn up because I've read Jurassic Park maybe 10 to 15 times. How many times did you watch Jurassic World yesterday? The trailer for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I watched three times last night. I couldn't, get, Dr. Malcolm. I couldn't get it to load. Uh, oh. I'm also not that interested. <gasps> I'm interested. Dinosaur. I'm just not that interested. I understand. Dinosaur. I... I, Jurassic Park to me is what it is to like Star Wars fanatics. And, what Ready Player One is to me. Ready Player One is to you. And, I'm not, and I understand that. I understand that there's more of a Star Wars following than Jurassic Park. Just that that's how Jurassic Park affected me when I first saw it. Oh. My favorite was when I was blanked on. Oh, uh, thanks, when, Luke Bill, for joining. When Weird Al used the uh, Jurassic Park logo, yes. but it's but it's Al turned it's sideways. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my inclusion into the conversation. Oh, yeah. uh, I saw the movie in theaters, and when I saw that, that's when I was like, I want to be involved in the industry that does that. Speaking of movie deals, <gasps> what movie deals? Ham fisted. Segue. Segue. There is uh, in the news. The new oh, news. No, monkey. news monkey is not. He's on vacation. He's on. He's on Christmas holiday. I like waking him up. Because he's rude. So, he's going to throw things at I you again. I return the rudeness back to him. He'll throw things at Were you again. Were you sleeping? No. Oh, That's too bad. His, his, uh, his, what's the word? What was the, uh. I, if he throws things at me, I swear I'm going to say His like rehab me. is going well. Going well. So, well. in the news this week, once again, is the Disney Fox acquisition. Oh, yeah. So. Are, do we have friends coming home? Oh, we yet? might have friends coming oh. home. There are multiple sources, none of them confirmed. Everybody's saying a saying. Disney will be working on the fine the the fine print details in next week Excellent. to purchase 21st Century Fox. The movie and television division yes. will not include Fox News. 
will not include any Likely. of their sports. Thank oh. God. Ugh. So they're going to be focusing. So Fox is going to focus more on its no you know, Joe Bunn, news Disney? and its uh, <laughs> sports. Oh. And Disney, which the, re- the at this point, everyone has said that the reason Disney is doing this is because they want their rights back. Fantastic. Fantastic Four. <sighs> X Men. Oh, God. <coughs> Bring me my first family. God, I feel terrible and I apologize for the X Men. Thank you, Luke, for joining. And the Avengers. Luke, Bill, thanks, man. <laughs> Dude. So, uh, uh, I think, in, in, in my opinion, I think uh, in Avengers Infinity War, the uh, the second one, I think what they should just have is uh, at the very end, I think we should have a legit Galactus looming over please, the please, Earth. Please, please. So, this is not for sure yet. Um, there are also a lot of things it would take probably three, four more years for everything with all the plans the Fox currently has in for it to come to fruition. I think from a personal standpoint, I'm not that excited about the idea of another Fantastic Four movie or another X-Men movie as I am excited for what comes with them. The, excuse me, the villains, the characters, the peripherals, the races, alien races, that come with them, um, they can Mutants build exactly. They can suddenly be like, "Oh, by the way, no, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch." I totally, see, totally see, mutants. See, this is this is where I came in with this. So I'm like, "Oh, Disney reacquiring Infinity Wars trailer." There's some smoochy happening. Of smoochy the vision, of the Vision smoochy and the uh, <laughs> nicely done and uh, Scarlet. And I'm going uh, if they acquire Fox, House of M. Ooh. And and my little my little heart went to pitter patter quite quickly. They could reset a lot with that. Not that they need to reset anything, but, but there is the concern about actors leaving, actors contracts leaving, uh, expiring. So I think overall, just like when we first brought this up, I think it would be a good move. A lot of people say, "Oh, what about Deadpool? Disney not want not want, no, not wanting to do an R-rated movie. I think it's crap." They've already done it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna happen. They have other names. they have other umbrellas that they can do it under. They got the Netflix Touch series for God's sake. Uh, Steve's on that point. Uh, on the on the heels of this news coming out, um, Mr. Ryan Reynolds did tweet about these uh, rumors, and he did go on to say in Twitter that it's time to uncork that explosive sexual tension between <gasps> Deadpool and Mickey Mouse. Hey. <laughs> so Wait. I don't think they're taming Deadpool any day soon. No. No, it's it's. I think I think there's <laughs> there's so many things that it, they could benefit from. I think it would go really well. They have a lot of strong characters that were not used correctly by the X Men or the Fantastic Four franchise, or not used at all that could come into play. Um, they have a lot of people are saying, well, you know, Fox has this kind of renaissance going on right now with the X Men movies. I say to you, this is more like the Dark Ages. What are you talking about? Yes, Days of Future Past did a great job of setting up a lot. Apocalypse dropped the ball. Logan was amazing, but completely separate from everything. Mm-hmm. And just like Deadpool referenced things, it wasn't that good at tying into everything. It if was anything, still phenomenal. If anything, Deadpool made fun of the mistakes. Exactly. Which was exactly. more fun. Yeah. So I think, I think it will be just very well done. Like, like Luke just said in the chat, the idea that we could get the funnier Quicksilver back yes, rather yes. than the... American Horror Story Quicksilver. You missed... <laughs> he was in American Horror Story. Yeah, yeah. He oh, I thought he was in Godzilla too. Yes. yes, that was what was weird is he was married to his sister <laughs> in Godzilla because they're brother sister in Avengers, mm-hmm. but in in God's anyway. Also, if that anything Marvel has proved is that they can take things that have kind of messed up in the past mm. and correct them. Mm. Spider Man Homecoming. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. they did. Preach. Did yep. Preach. Yep. Daredevil. Daredevil. Preach. Mm. Bingo. Preach. Punisher wasn't that bad, Snaps but now rough. it's been even even better. better. Two different guys. I know. Luke. I do know there's something else you were really excited about. It's more so than the X Men and and Deadpool coming. Just... But there's something else that 20th Century Fox has that will now be in the hands of Mr. Mouse. What is that, Doctor Barry? I have no idea. I'm just getting really hyped. Oh. Assuming you're <laughs> going to say. I thought there it. was something really I cool. I got really confused. <laughs> what about Star Wars? Oh. Thank you. Wait. Thank wait, you. So, wait. for those of you who are wait. uneducated, no. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> Holy the thing, shit. The thing about Star Wars is 21st Century Fox owns the rights still. 
to A New Hope. They own the rights to the pr- uh, the other six, uh, other five movies. So they own uh, the, the, original the original three and then the, the prequels. They own all of those until 2020. But at uh, that point, they will still own A New Hope. If Disney purchases 20th Century uh, Fox, <laughs> they will then have the rights to release an extended Blu-ray edition uh, with everything because uh, you know they're going to want to make a buck. Or they could put it on their unique streaming service in which we will get Han shooting first. So yeah. I, well, I have it on VHS uh, traditionally. Exactly. So. Curtis in the chat, yes, they get the original cuts, which means anybody we can wanna get watch some of the everything. originals? You'll teach okay. your kids that Han shot first. I can stop busting out my combo VCR DVD player <laughs> for my three VHS copies. I have the originals. The Me too. I do. I, and I, it's getting hard. I'm running out of the VHS player. Kids, knowledge is power. Han shot It's great first. to learn because yes. knowledge is power. Exactly. School has rocking. There could come a lot of other things. Tim, way. they could do a great job with Electra. They already did, I, and I think, but they could do an even better job a if better. they really wanted to. <laughs> yeah, and the Cat, the cat Human Torch <laughs> oh, buddy yeah. movie. It's gonna that be would be Bob, great just Bob as a 10 minute short. Yeah, I'm yeah. I I having Cap and Torch together. I, because I, if we got I, trolled, <laughs> as good as we got trolled by Cap. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, and I, and I think. You giggle at all the time. The other thing is. There's so many Hi, there's so many options for for not necessarily like we said like the big team like the fact that we've got uh the book um oh God, I can't remember what it is now thing and fantastic uh, and uh human torch two for one I was oh, like what wow. about grim and torch my brain <laughs> is so slow right knowing now keep at your tea lovely knowing stuff is gooder so Thanks, we will Michael. have the two <laughs> in one the marvel uh two in one which is thing and human torch kind of having their own thing we could have that we, we don't have no, no no cut take two and we action. don't have to necessarily have a fantastic four with a mr fantastic and invisible woman thank you for that i just want to address that one issue that i always bring up about the first family and the uh the miscarriage episode or issue from the 70s mm. that nobody talks about there's so much fun there's a lot of things do. that we should but, we we shouldn't talk about well i mean we should talk about it but well yeah. we don't talk about it but side note pixar in trying to honor um, the first family, because they did not have their hands on them, created The Incredibles, mm. which Incredibles uh, 2 is coming out, right. which also means... Just... Incredibles 3, crossover with the Fantastic Four. <gasps> oh! Wait, Disney, hire me. I'm your idea guy. <laughs> take, a, take a moment. Say this all goes through. Say that, I mean, it most likely is going to go At through. At this point, it's happening. But let's say it's happened. Look at the umbrella of pop culture... And media entertainment that Mickey Mouse controls now. He's I got Lucas's greatness. He's got Marvel's greatness. He's got whatever Fox has made that has, it's all under the mouse. The mouse has it. <laughs> He's got all of it. Boy, this is fun. <laughs> the only thing he doesn't have <laughs> is your mom. Is, That's true. He does not have my mom. Warner Brothers. Yes, he does not uh, have Warner Brothers. And Warner Harry Potter. Brothers. Harry Potter. Harry, oh my God. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Well, I was going to say Potter. more just the fact that. Well, um, does he? Re- they really want to poke that one <coughs> stick? Because Warner Brothers is having their own problem. This yes. Is true. Yeah. Well, I mean, really, if 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 the mouse acquired your your beloved, your green man of manliness, and took him under their oh, umbrella, the swamp. Oh, <laughs> got it. Apparently, I went around a circle that even the slightly perplexed. Doctor, it's his tea, darling. <laughs> I'm I'm out of it. Thanks, so, Dan. Wait. I would be totally down. Da- I mean, I know Disney would never acquire Warner Brothers, but that would be hysterical. Um, that being said, Monopoly? DC, that would be the ultimate Monopoly that we, of course, <laughs> wouldn't touch. So uh, DC so is, has had a little bit of a struggle as of late. Um, a little bit. Justice League, while still a financial success, is at this point slated. Is it still under? Yes. At this point, last it's chip, still, last under Man of Steel. still under Man of Steel as far as revenue is concerned, which bums me out because as – a hardcore DC critic of both the books and the movies. Of everything. Of everything. Lego. And they've done a great job of chipping away at that with their books. Justice League, we've got a review on it on the website from the Azorian one. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. There were issues not big enough for me to say. There was flawed. But I thought they did a great job when it comes to a lot of it. That being said, I thought the hype was real. I thought the... Uh, promotional stuff for it was great. Yep. I do not understand, given the way, given the climate we're in, I don't get why it's not doing as well. Um, I think it was enjoyable. I think, like I said, they promoted it well. That being said, I mean, it's like, not doing the, the best. I think, I think Luke 
hit the nail on the head in chat that if only Warner Brother cared about DC the way Disney cares about Marvel, we could have the beautiful, wonderful option of a Titanic you know, frozen crossover. Stop it. Thanks, Quiggs. <laughs> Love you. Freaking but uh, but Titanic two iceberg boogaloo. <laughs> that I just mean, we we resurrect it from the dead, send it on a cruise again. I, I'm feeling it. Yeah. So at so the moment we're we'll find where that iceberg came up. <laughs> uh, domestically, Justice League is at 202 million. How much uh, did it take to make worldwide? They haven't said yet. Oh. Worldwide, 540, uh, 574 million. So it's Man of Steel, 291 million domestically. Okay. Worldwide, 668. So it's with it's gonna pass it. It's gonna pass it. It's gonna pass it. And but it it is calls it into it? it calls into question exactly. Is it gonna squeak past? It calls into question a lot of the moves that that Warner Brother is are Warner Brother. I say Warner Brother is, but it's like they are technically Warner Brothers. Yeah, Warner whatever. <laughs> There's some singular brother that's running all exactly. The some some brother back there. It's and Yako. So yeah, Yako. Wacko, Wacko, Wacko. and oh, Dot is the Dot. sister. Oh, she is. So. There's other, and then there's other rumors that just, again, the rumors swirling about is Ben Affleck done with Batman? We got this before that he didn't want to do it anymore. And he said, he came out and he said, hey guys, stop it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be Batman. Now there's rumors again. There's contract rumors that he might be in the Flash movie. Yeah. But is done after that. So many different stories that are telling like, oh, he's staying. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, he'll do this, but not that. It's hard to tell what's the truth. Exactly. Well, that's the problem is it's, it's. It's almost like we get straighter answers out of the Marvel actors. We, and including the ones that get in trouble for putting uh, people that are still alive in their pockets for 10 minutes of a movie. Mark Ruffalo, we love you. We love you. So, or side note, <laughs> did anybody get to see the Instagram post from um, from Tom Holland where he's on the train or he's in, in the subway and he's standing behind two guys that are arguing about people in the Infinity Wars and he's like, hey, you guys, don't turn around and ask me. I know nothing about it. And I was like, Whoop. <laughs> Classic. A Tarzan, Tarzan Black Panther movie. Can we have that? Where this is the problem is we're going to keep getting great suggestions from the chat room as the <gasps> can, night goes can, on. We've got to just like run those down. Mickey's watching right now. Sergeant, Sergeant Squiggles, uh, they want they want Baffleck to be the DC Robert Downey, Kid which man. I agree. But the problem is, is it we don't know. It, he might be in the in for the long haul, but everyone makes it seem like he might not be, which. The current, uh, you know, current contender, quote unquote, person who's gone on social media and said, "I'll <gasps> take it," Ooh. is none other than the Madman himself, <gasps> not Justin Piper. What do you want? <laughs> it is actually John Hamm. What do you want? Yeah, that, that guy. guy. Uh, so he wants to play Batman. Um, that being said, we have no idea if Batfleck is actually done. I don't think he is. I think he's he's in it because it's also an awesome paycheck. Amelia, could we like swap in Will Arnett and I get some Lego <laughs> Batman? For, for instead of Batman. I think a Will Arnett cameo would be great in X-Men. I think, <laughs> I think the, the problem is, is everyone is reading way too much into the name of the Flash movie. It's going to be Flashpoint. Mm-hmm. Which, oh, you don't. Okay. I'm going to say my, my spiel on this and get off it very Do quick. It. Okay. With the trilogy, if you're not like Batman Begins, Dark Knight, all those. If you're not following the storyline and you're calling it that, I'm going to kind of get angry with you. If this is Flashpoint, but not Flashpoint, uh, okay. Flashpoint. He goes back in time to see the Kennedy assassination. What? No, that's what? Uh, that's that's no. all. That's, 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 that's Umbrella Academy. Umbrella. Oh, Umbrella Academy. That's gonna be good. Actually, Umbrella so, Academy. So the, again, though, like with it being Flashpoint, I feel like people are just reading into it and saying, "Oh, because it's Flashpoint, we could have a new Batman afterwards. He could come back and be like, oh, you're Bruce, but you're a little bit different.'" And I'm like, ah, uh, unless they really, for some reason, can't wrangle. Uh, Affleck into a contract, uh-huh. which I'm gonna be honest, like there there are some roles that I know actors don't want to be tied to. Yep. Uh, Eccleston uh, leaving Doctor Who after one season because he knew that he his career would be defined by being Doctor Who. Yeah, there are certain characters that will define you. I think part of the problem with my issue with Ben Affleck oh, wasn't he like Red Skull? No, he was Red Skull. He was. Who was he? Who Ben Affleck? No, Eccleston. You got me on a tangent. Oh, he was uh, Malika, the Dark Elf in uh, Thor two, and. He was something else. Not in the Marvel movies. Uh, Red Skull was uh, Mr. Anderson. No, but he was... I will, t- I will find it. I will find it. You Googleize it. Yes, um, you Google it. <clears throat> so there, there are certain... But there are certain actors that are defined by roles. And there's other you know roles that are defined by actors. And then there's actors that get into a role that they are fine to play, but they take you out of it. And I think that's one of the things with Ben Affleck. Like When he comes on the screen, I'm like, oh, look, it's Ben Affleck. I'm not like, look, it's Batman. Mm-hmm. No, it's like, oh, Ben Affleck. And... and 
along with that, the thing you're going to run into, even if Ben Affleck, let's say he really wants to be Batman, okay. you aren't, you're going to have more of a gap involving Batman <coughs> solo films because remember, this Ben Affleck we have now is also director producer Ben Affleck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has things he wants to do. He has passion projects he wants to direct. He wants to produce. He wants to write. So if he's Batman, you need to get used to the fact that you'll see Batman in 2017. Then you'll see Batman again, you know, in 2020. He might have a little cameo in Flash, but you won't have a solo Batman film very close together because the guy is going to do other things. He you do the you do the blockbuster so you can do the artsy project. Ari Gold taught us that. Okay, yeah. and that's what Ben Affleck's going to do. He wants to do his The Town. He wants to do his uh, Argos and his Gone Baby Gone. He has other things he wants to do. Or you do the Goodfellow style. You, you build your business. You burn it down. You use your insurance money to get rich and start another business. Bingo. Um, yeah, so actually, completely Tim. completely tied to this, Tim came in with a question. Tim, the woodworker, friend of the show, Tim hey, Tim. Lindsay, hey, Tim. check out his work. He's fantastic. He also streams on Twitch. Uh, he asked uh, a few years ago, what did you think when they first announced Ben Affleck was going to be Batman? I didn't like it. Ditto. I was unhappy with it because I was okay. I was I was like we'd been burned. We'd been burned by good actors being Batman. Not that not many all of them. Cuz Michael but Keaton was phenomenal. Yes. Val Kilmer was fine. Eh. Um Including. good Batman, not good Bruce Wayne. George Clooney was a terrible terrible Batman. Like in that Excuse me. Awesome Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Didn't break it though. He yeah. was just like, "Hey, uh, Robin, yeah. Yeah. we're going to go knock over casino." Three of them. So I I was unhappy with it, and in Batman vs Superman I didn't really enjoy it, uh, and also take into consideration the Dark Knight trilogy had just ended. Yeah. Man of Steel came out a year after Dark Knight Rises, mm-hmm. and the maybe I think it was the year after that is when they announced it's going to be Batman vs Superman. Right. Christian Bale is still fresh in your head. Nolan's trilogy is still fresh in your mind. And now it's like you don't – anything that you can think of is going to be next is going to be like, eh, it's, it's not the Nolan trilogy. Well, and, and the, yeah, the other problem is, is when someone does a poor job and then they come back and do something great, we're so excited about it. We love it. We love – you know, the Daredevil movie was terrible, which is why we love the Daredevil se- oh, series yeah. that much more. Oh. If the Daredevil which movie – Which who? Ben Affleck. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to br- – I made that con- – I didn't make that connection. So uh, again though, it's like you know, we, we came off the high of the Batman trilogy – to then be like, okay, well, now we have to get another Batman, as opposed to we come from the low of George Clooney and then we get the Dark Knight Bale. and we get Bale. So it's. House movie castle. It's. Is it, is it maybe that comic books, maybe slightly? I mean, I, the, here's the thing I like Ben as Batman in Justice League. I did like him in that. Mm-hmm. Maybe but it's like Ben is great in the town, yeah, yeah. great in Argo. But then, you know, then Batman vs. Superman came out, and then it kind of... Because the guy was on an upswing. The yeah. guy was winning Oscars, <clears throat> Blockbusters, and then BBS. And, and well, I mean, it's... it's he, you know, like someone, oh, someone mentioned in the chat, it was, you know, he became a good actor when he started directing his own movies. Yeah, exactly. It, it, because he's got all the, you know, all the freedom and none of the... You don't got to listen to anybody, which is kind of... Does that make you a bad... Not a, like a bad team player. Yeah. I don't know. I would I, say it would make you a bad team player. I still watch the town like 20 times. It's yeah. all of them. It, and it's... So I, I think I think that overall Batman Ben Affleck is is not he's not the worst Batman. He's far from the best Batman. Yeah, definitely not the worst. Is he a mediocre Batman? He's a mediocre Batman. So he's a Batman, not a Batman. Yes, uh, he's a Batman. We're taking out the A. Um, mm. uh, I did. I'm going to be 100 percent honest. In Justice League, spoiler alert. Uh, it is Cover already made children. 300 million dollars. So deal with it. Um, when he, he you know he goes to the cold cold north to find Aquaman. He's got the beard. <laughs> when he's on the plane and when he shaves and when he turns to look at Alfred, I was like, "That's Bruce Wayne." <laughs> he, he has <laughs> that's that's he has Bruce Wayne. The and then he talked, and I was like, mm. "That's Ben Affleck. That's Batman." Because <laughs> <It's> Batman. <laughs> Affleck has that Bruce Wayne jawline yeah, 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 yeah. going for him. Yeah. So does John Hamm. Well, Interesting. If John Hand gets well, in the gym for a couple, few, you know, three, four months, six, six, well, seven, six, well, seven months. Well, let's look at uh, somebody who is going from being a Mad Titan to being a future son of some X Men. X Men. X Men. Josh Brolin, uh, also a good example. Oh, yeah. um, he looks better now than he did in yeah. Goonies. I know. Fitness wise. I true. know, and he's not getting strapped to chairs by anyone. No, that we know. Unwillingly. Okay. They might strap. I mean, who would they strap down? For oh, you. Well, <clears throat> that being Cindy said, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll yeah. see what happens. I'm not sure how I feel about all of that. But that being said, 
the time of year that we are currently in it's brings it's about Star Wars season, y'all. Hey, pew pew guns. She's not wrong. Uh, <laughs> she I wasn't correct. thinking about that, but I do am do am tired. Do am tired, uh, and I do am excited uh, for Star Wars. I have my tickets. I will be seeing it on the big screen. <laughs> so, so one more thing before we get we get to where, where you're going, so I can emphasize this. Is he the Batman we need, but not the one we deserve? <laughs> like, like the things you should receive, and deserve. And Got need? it. She's talking about Christmas presents. Ah. <laughs> it is the so much ham holidays. Holiday. Celebrate John oh. Ham to be exact. Yeah. All right. What do you want to hear? <laughs> so it is the holidays for those of you who celebrate any of them, whether that is Hanukkah. Kwanzaa, Christmas. Festivus for the rest of us. Festivus for the rest of it. Or if you're me, wintertime. Solstice. <laughs> Solstice. Come on, dragon. You it's wintertime. No, I'm, I'm... Christmas time. I'm just, a, I'm just a raging, left-leaning atheist who has just it's a fantastic festivus. Christmas tree. Ooh, like Actually, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Oh, my, my house... house is gorgeous oh, right now. Dude, Probably. like, I got, you know, a, a not-practicing not former Jewish wife... And uh, and a baby that's not gonna understand anything, anything but is gonna love Christmas. Nice. Oh, the lights. So, what we'd like to talk about here is two things. One, um, we've done this every year, but it's kind of changed every year. I've actually really enjoyed that we've done this. Best comic related gifts we have Aww. ever gotten for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or what's the other one? Festivus. Uh, Diwali. 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 Is that that's the best of life? Valid. Yeah, all of them. We're naming all of or them, you guys. None of them. So, winter best comic book related gifts you've ever received. I will lead us off. All right. Um, just because it's wait, how many do we get to talk about? Uh, two. I thought it was gonna be two. Okay. So, the best and no coal, Tim. No, no, no coal for Tim the woodworker. Um, because that also burns the the wood, and that would be and we're destroying your livelihood. We don't want to do that. You don't want to burn the wood. It's true. So I uh, have an amazing wife. Um, Mm -hmm. some of you may have seen her work. Uh, last episode on the yeah, switcher. Yeah. <laughs> um, in a couple weeks, you'll be seeing uh, the other work that we've been working on, or which will be a human being. Oh, um, buns that are in ovens. Buns sure. that are in ovens. In z- ovens. Whew, wow, I'm losing it. Uh, so Do that being said, no, I need an <laughs> ice pack. Um, <laughs> so my wife is amazing. Oh. Um, my wife kills Christmas in a good way every year. Um, the it. decorating, the gift giving, uh, she just knocks it out of the park. So a few years back, uh, I, for those of you who might not know this, uh, I was in a, a heavy metal band uh, for the better part of a decade. It's uh, real. Yes, we were called Lycanthrope. Uh, we wore kilts, had red war paint. I did it before Chris Hemsworth and Thor Ragnarok. He's very Deal neat. with it. We also have pictures um, of it. I have tons of pictures with timestamps. So I was in a heavy metal band, and so my wife, what she did was she came down here to Empire's Comics Vault. Oh. Sponsor of the show, oh. Empire's Comics Vault. And she talked to Ben. And she said, Ben, what would be the best thing I could get for him? Uh, and they worked and they workshopped. And they they came up with was she was going to find an artist to draw a custom comic book for me. So oh, she found uh, a forum where you could hire artists. And she tracked down someone to draw a six-issue small short story about me and my band. Um, and oh. we played a battle of the bands where <gasps> the crowd was zombies. Nice. Uh, we then killed all of them, burned the venue down, yeah. and, uh, you know, as you do. Like you always did back in the day. <clears throat> exactly. Basically the exact same thing I would do I'm every like, Friday to Saturday night. So that was just, the, it was the best thing ever. I, I, I open it up and it's just, I'm like, oh, it's a comic book. I love comic books, but it's me. I'm on the cover. I'm in the pages. It was phenomenal. We need to push this up on the Instagram, please. Yes, so I, could, I, will, I will track it down. I remember you saying how every time you tried to like up her on Christmas, she ended up upping you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well then, case in point. Uh-oh. How can she up herself? Well, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, <laughs> I am a big fan of Spawn. Um, Tom McFarlane's Spawn uh, is one of the greatest things ever created, even if I haven't read an issue in a really long time, I still have almost every issue ever printed. So when it came to Christmas, uh, what my wonderful wife did was she tracked down um, one of the variant it covers for Spawn issue 100, which was yep. really difficult to find. Um, and I had I had, had one of them, but it was from an artist that I didn't really care about. Um, not that I don't, I mean, I, I, okay, sorry. Case of point. Uh, I love all comic artists, there but it was go. not my favorite cover. 
So she went out and she tracked down the Todd McFarlane variant. The hard um, one that nobody really got. Exactly. So it she's just she's the best. Uh, <laughs> so she that's just two of the ways that she's absolutely annihilated Christmas every year, um, and she continues to do it. So Steves, it's me. Yes. <laughs> best comic book related gifts you've ever gotten. Hmm. Well, I can, right now, I thought, man, I can think of one. It was for Christmas. It was from brother-in-law Joe and his wife, Kayla. Brother Joe. Uh, Friend of the show, brother show. Joe. Open up, and there's this, shoe, like that too. there's this shoe box. And the shoe box has, like, these lightning bolts on it that they put on. And pictures of Joe and I doing stuff like, you know, putting him in the F5, <laughs> uh, standing proudly. The F5 is a finishing maneuver by Brock Lesnar. Um, standing proudly. And when I opened it up, they had about a stack this tall of comic books, just just issues, including a reprinting of the Spider-Man issue one that Marvel put Aww. out. And it's just it's it's DC, it's Marvel, it's Spider-Man, it's X-Men, it's Superman, it's Batman. It's just this huge stack. I still have them to this day. And it was more, it was like I want to say it was within our first year, first or second year of the Crusaders. Yeah, 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 I remember that. And it was and I just I just scattered them on the bed. Took a picture, showed them, and these guys were like, "Yeah, it was just, just, it's just amazing." I still haven't read them all. I still have not <laughs> read them all. There's so many. I have not read them all. That's what this Christmas is for. Yeah. Um, that um, shoot. I have comic gifts, but they weren't Christmas. They were birthday. All out. My wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. For my birthday last year, uh, she knows that I'm a fan of T-shirts. Tied to comic books that aren't blatant, like I like the Shield T-shirt that yeah. that the, the uh, excuse me the SSR yes the one that I have that Cap wears in in yeah. the First Avenger, uh, the Star Labs T-shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that that references comics. She got me a Stark Enterprises T-shirt which I've worn on this show you before, have. and the Nelson and Murdoch uh, yeah you wear classic. that one a lot I wear that a lot as well so that and, oh and she also got me the Tony Stark. The glasses. Shades he wore in Iron Man 3. His were blue. She couldn't get the blue. They were sold out. Got me a black pair. Mm -hmm. But it's the same style that Robert Downey Jr. wears in Iron Man 3, which I still wear to this day. So You wore them when we went to Grape City Con. Yeah, because when I had the, <laughs> the best I could do, because there's mm -hmm. no way I can exactly copy what RDJ does. Solid. Yep. So we have uh, we have excellent wives. We do. We do have excellent wives. Amy, how's your wife? How's your wife doing? <sighs> you know, she's great. That's good. Oh, God, she has a wife. She's a... Uh... Currently, tell me she's more, a, tell, tell me, me more. more like does she have a car? She does have a car. Um, <laughs> actually, so mine is more of something that I'm really proud that I got to give. And then I'll go in because I technically I buy a lot of my own Christmas presents. So the she's, she's going to make us look bad. Heck we, yes. we talked about things we got and how selfish Avo we avocados. Were. Well, this is the fun thing is there are things that I gave you guys. Uh, this is true. So my she's first Christmas with the Crusaders, this will be my second. Um, technically when I was not even exactly a crusader at that point, friend of the I was, show. I was a deputy. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a tradition in my house that I give ornaments for every year. And so last year I got somebody online to paint bulb ornaments, which with each of their favorite, uh, characters on it. And so this guy got spawned. Yes, he's on the tree. He got the bat. We'll be on the tree tomorrow. Piper got the really, really fantastic Thanos that was super wrinkly. Um, <laughs> Tom still hasn't collected his Flash. I hate you. Tom. Oh <laughs> there was, I believe Kurt did get Black Panther. I did think he so. Get Black Panther? I think it was Black Panther, wasn't it? I got the chat. He's I have a picture. <laughs> But Curtis, I really, if you're in the chat room, answer the question. <laughs> answer the question, Kurt, answer the question. But I had really fun doing that. It's something that, like, for me, I was just like, oh, really super excited. Yeah. And then something that uh, was acquired by me and my family. So uh, Mel Ruby is a comic book artist that tends to frequent um, uh, Wizard, and he shows up at Zack Anime. He's local. He's local. He's very nice. Oh, see, look, Tim says I can send uh, Tom's over there. So, hey, <laughs> you might just be in luck, Tim. Uh, oh, it was Red Hood. Oh, that's right. Red Hood. Thank you, uh, Curtis. Thank you, Kurt. Red Hood is uh, Red Hood. He's listening I, and watching. He apparently. So, um, it was, it had to be late July, early August. Um, I had a very traumatic death in my family. Um, and I went to Mel Ruby and I brought a picture um, from my wedding day. 
of the three of us, my husband, myself, and my brother-in-law who passed away. And he copied it to, uh, he turned me into a comic book character. And Good feeling. I cry yeah. fairly consistently about looking at this picture. So, um, yeah. Are you choking, are you choking up now? Try not to I'm think, choking up now. I'm trying not to think of it. I, have I, have I even <clears throat> shown you this picture? No, but I'm already. Yeah, it is. a commercial? Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I do so have a, we're taking it was a break a, soon. It was, a two, it was a twofer, so it's the one of me on my wedding day. And then there was another one, which was one of the last pictures that he ever took while he was alive, that he translated, and he had a full sleeve of tattoos, and you couldn't even see it all the way in the picture. And Mel Ruby did such a fantastic job um, that it sits right next to his Pokeball full of ashes. My Ruby. Thanks, buddy. You're a good man. I'll so, so, and a segue of, hey, chat, what you thinking about that? <laughs> Tim, uh, Tim, Tim, yeah. to answer your question, mm. I don't need a baby's first Christmas ornament because as of now, um, we're looking at December 27th, Just maybe that. 29th. Uh, for the baby being born. So baby's first New Year's. Yes. Um, and so unless... Baby's first Valentine's if Day. She, if she comes a little early, we will hit you up, and we will definitely uh, we will talk about that. So, like, to, to Amy's point... Heavy. Sorry. I got, um, I got there, you guys. I'm so sorry. Around December 1st, um, in the uh, mystical meadows surrounding the North Pole, uh, two... Alaska! Two hey. magical creatures reside. Uh, and come out of their caves for only one season of the year. Those two are Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman. Michael yes. Bu- Michael Bublé. <gasps> he has he has a he has arisen. And Mariah Carey. This is right. <laughs> so Mariah Carey, famously known for All I Want for, for Christmas, Christmas is You. you. Ooh, baby. I went that way. Remember when I said I, I was in a heavy metal band? Yeah, like ten years. Christmas. Yeah, I just aggravated every. So, it's knocked my head now. Yes. So Mariah Carey, she has some other uh, songs, uh, supposedly, uh, but she is. She wrote a book. About she also that has song. a book. Yes. All I want for Christmas is you. So good. You don't know her, Luke. It's okay. Love all I want for Christmas this year, comic book themed. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be realistic either. <laughs> uh. Uh, you know, it could be I want Stanley uh, to come Tarzan on the show. Tarzan Black Panther uh, crossover. All the crossovers <laughs> that the chat room has come up come up with. It totally is. <laughs> that's Jim Carrey's mom. It is. It is Jim Carrey's yeah, mom. Donnie she's Hathaway she's very Christmas. she's very well known for her, wow, for her no Christmas. Um, so I actually, um, my family does a Secret Santa. Um, we uh, just recently implemented it, and so uh, for this year. Uh, all I want for Christmas is books on how to write comic books. Aww. So uh, I have a couple of books on there. Um, please don't buy them because my Secret Santa needs options to pick from. If they um, be- wanted to buy these books for you, where would they be going? Amazon. Hey, apparently. There's yes. a super secret like crusader wish list somewhere. Oh, well, I mean, it's for my family. We use that Draw Names website where everyone types it in. And, and we need to do a Secret Santa for the Crusaders. Dang it. I told you guys. I come with prizes every year, so they're already set. They know what they're getting. Oh, crap. I forgot we still have the bot in there that just talks about Piper. Um, <laughs> some, of the books, some of the books are actually us. here uh, at they Empire's are? Comics Ball. Yes, they are. Is that that Swamp Thing right over there, the R.L. Stein one? No. Ooh, no, it's that not one? that either. Uh, the books that I'm looking for, um, and I'm not saying you should buy them. I'm just saying these are the ones I'm interested in. And you should check them out if you're interested in writing comic books or if you ever wonder about the process. Uh, they are Super Gods by Grant Morrison. Oh. Not Super Gods, the Warren Ellis comic book. Garth Ennis, Warren Ellis. <laughs> ah. it's, a, it's a book by uh, Gar- uh, Grant Morrison uh, about like the history of comics and also how to write comics. Um, there's also Letters for Word, or Letters for Pictures, Words for, Letters for Carry the two. Carry do you need some of my tea? You just, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Brian Michael Bendis. Um, Ooh, has, Bendis. Uh, I believe it's B&B. words for words for pictures. I believe is the name of the book. Uh, and then there is um, th- I like this one because it's really simple. Writing comics by Alan Moore. Um, so, <laughs> so to answer your question in chat, Tim, he's looking for writing. Writing. Not yes, I'm. I am. I gave up drawing at a very young age, and I'm really upset that I did uh, because I was. I really like doing it, um, and I could have kept going with it. But I. I want to write comics. Um, I have. I have stories that I already have. But I think. Uh, 
the stories in my head when I put them down on paper, the, the, it's, it's like the formatting and the, and the style is what I really need to work on. So I want to get inspired by some of the greats. Um, so that's mainly what I want for Christmas on top of Stan Lee coming down um, oh. or coming up and being on the, the Crusaders. And we, could, we may get very close to that come Silicon Valley this next mm-hmm. year. Silicon Valley Comic Con. He's going to be there. So Second Steve, time. All I want for Christmas is not you. Um, oh. What do you want? <laughs> what can the fans go pick up for you to uh, make you happy? I'd like the uh, the Tumblr from the Dark Knight trilogy, full size. Not yeah, that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah, I useful. want that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like the just the dead silence. There's like, mm-hmm. trip, trip, yep. trip, yes, trip, I want that trip, one. My favorite Batman. Nope. Um, <gasps> Somebody in chat said they'll buy you comics. Oh wait, are you buying Doc comics or are you buying Steve's comics? If, if I write, they'll buy they'll buy my comics. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. I thought oh, I, I didn't see the R. I need um, glasses. Cheek golly. Wilkers. Golly G. Wilkers. Jeepers, I, again, Mister. I'm a t-shirt uh, guy. You are t-shirt holic. So t-shirts that are tied to superheroes without being blatant. Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> like t-shirt. the gym, like the one that I got uh, last year for our Secret Santa, which was like the gym. The, the Iron Fist, like gym. Yeah, yeah that stuff was like that. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Star Labs, the, the, the Hulkbusters, the the Hulkbusters stuff, uh-huh. stuff that's connected but not blatant. Um, anything uh, actually, like honestly, movie scripts that you can actually purchase now yeah. after they've come out. I I like seeing the way they wrote it because that's how I stylize, you know, format how I write. Basically, and I've written two things so far, two scripts. Um, I'd like to see more. I just downloaded James Gunn's script to Guardians of Galaxy, Galaxy 2, which is awesome to see because that's a movie with plenty of like CGI and action. Just to see how he explains that in the scripts and how it's formatted helps someone who may want to write, I don't know, a Booster Gold story. Continuously. Or Cassie I Hack don't. story. I don't know. <clears throat> Um, we got the the blessing on that from friend of the show, Tim Seeley. Tim Seeley said I could. Just good luck with the movie rights. Friend of the show. I'm gonna try, Tim. Someone's and laying on the horn outside the store right they now. They agree with me. Um, and aside from that, <coughs> uh, you know, for for J. Michael Straczynski or Paul Haggis to see my stuff and say write with me. Uh, for you know, I I want uh, Straczynski to come back to comics. I'm bummed that he's. I mean, I get I get that he's a creative soul and he wants to he wanted to leave comics. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the man, the man wrote just epic, epic literature. Oh, Christmas Wish would be that my, uh, my, uh, my script gets seen on scriptapalooza.com and gets chosen and wins and gets optioned. That'd be nice. I, I, I entered it. I'm down with that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm for that. Christmas Wish. Amy, uh, world peace. <laughs> Uh, well, good, good goodwill to to man. The Steve Martin clip from SNL. We just play that right now. Thank you for being here today. Um, what do you want for Christmas? All I want for Christmas, love actually. <laughs> I, I, want so uh, so I want a sexy lobster. I want a sexy lobster in the new, in the new, in the nativity. I want Alan Rickman to come back from the dead and be oh, Alan Rickman. Yes. I'm sorry. That was that was a little look hard. Look at the things you can watch during the holiday season that have a minute. You got the Harry Potter. Yep. You, you've got Love Actually. You got Die Hard. He's Hans freaking uh, Gruber. Also, by the way, you guys, I haven't seen that, so it's gonna be on Jalen. You need to watch Die Hard. You can watch. I know. You can watch Dogma. Yeah, you can. Not related to Christmas. Dogma. But he's in he it. is in Dogma. It is actually yeah, part of it. Um, so I <laughs> stand the man. Yeah, Iron Man. So uh, all I want for Christmas. <laughs> I ideally, I'd like to go back to Disneyland, um, mm-hmm. and I'm going to say that because there's been such a great. If you've been following Instagram a little bit, I was very polite and did not throw all of the things at it. Yay, verily! Um, but there are so dilly, many dilly, dilly. Com- <laughs> dilly dilly. There are so many comic books. There are so many action figures. Yeah. I saw Jane Foster in like the Marvel in multiple places. In the, in the parks, which made me super happy. Um, there was, a, I almost bought your youngling a Spider-Man onesie because it was sick. Um, <laughs> sick. It was hecka sick. And uh, uh, if I have one quish, quish, wish, quish, 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 because apparently I can't pronounce Christmas, um, would be for DC and Marvel fans to unite and hate one movie just entirely, like come together on one thing. DC, DC and Marvel fans we come just, together a, on just we agree. one thing. Uh, we agree on one thing that we all hate, and that's it. 
like movie wise, like in, it the, could in, be any, in their if universes. If there's one thing that we all hate, just one, because we all know we love Stan. It doesn't matter if you're a DC or a Marvel fan. We, we all know we love Stan. Yeah, we all we all Jack. We all love yeah. We all we all love uh, um, okay. Ditko. Yeah. Yeah, That's we all love Kane and Siegel and, See, and all those dudes. We love we love, we love the old guys. And you know what? And I want to just come together on one thing that we what? hate, and in our bond of hate, we can thrive and create a, a like unifying. United. You know what I was gonna say? Yeah. What I was gonna say I was gonna say Rob Liefeld's feet, but Rob Liefeld. He he's got such a renaissance right now because he's, of freaking Deadpool, man. I have I have gained so much respect for him over the last couple of years, despite his inability to draw feet. You all about them toes, bro. <clears throat> what can we do um, Luke. In the chat, my man, oh. X Men Origins. Yes, the first we one. All yes, yeah. X Men Origins. That Origin was Wolverines. not my gambit. We I'm will in that all one. agree. Agreed. Not the gambit. The claws look terrible. The Deadpool was Do we terrible. Look the lack of the mouth. Oh, the, the, oh. the even the the way they terribly CGI. Sorry, Will I am. Uh, Sorry, the way bro. They terribly. I didn't mind Will I am. No, character. I just mean that he was like. Whoop, whoop. The, way, the way they CGI'd Patrick Stewart to look a little bit younger. That was very poorly yeah. done. Yeah. And you know what? Actually, there you go. One from both sides. And then Tim <laughs> Tim the Woodworker oh. comes in the Green Lantern movie. Both starring Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. <laughs> and then he redeemed it with Deadpool. So I will say that we all agree, DC and Marvel fans together, that the, I Green, got my Lantern, wish? the Green Lantern movie was terrible. And X-Men, X-Men Origins Wolverine one. was terrible. Because two was good. I like two. The one in Japan. Oh, the, the, the Wolverine. The, the, the I like the Wolverine, the Wolverine. But wasn't yeah. Wolverine's yeah. origin. Yeah. Yeah. So call. Amy? Yeah. My Mer- wish came Merry true. Christmas. Holy snot. We did it. Low Happy- expectations. Jesus, that's capping out the money. <laughs> we did it. Sorry. Yeah. We did it. World peace. Yeah, it's fine. We My could, wish came true. This is easy now, apparently. Yeah. There it we gave go. A, it gave us blob. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it gave us a solid blob. I love the way he was just super buff and then it was just fat. If we had the rights to it, we should play <laughs> Stevie Wonder. We should play it right now, but we can't. Now, Donnie yeah. Hathaway, this Curtis, Christmas. you put it on at home and play it. Yeah. Yeah, probably already is. He's trapped so, in that water closet. Uh, <laughs> water. Yeah, in the water I'm closet. sorry, Tim. Do you know my dreams are fairly small because I think of like things that are easily <laughs> obtainable. First. That's okay though. We need to, we, you make make small steps towards the towards the because bigger the goal. Because the big thing is, I God just want God bless us. God bless everyone. They're saying it wrong though. It's God bless us, everyone. Bless, bless. That's right. I went there. God bless us, everyone. I don't know. Are you are basically? You, are, I'm you Donald, touch- are you Donald Trump? I'm having a tra- I'm having, no, no. I have dry mouth. Oh, okay. It's I, dry I, I, mouth. I thought you were. I thought you were the the. The, the, oh, just the baby bottle and cheese. Mm, mm, mm. This just got political. You Side know what? note, I'm going to be able to touch uh, Stanley's cardigan this this year at Silicon Valley Comic Con. We're all going to be. And able to that touch is that. that is the purest gift that I could That's acquire via this podcast. Oh, side note, I have one more wish, but it's kind of just a hope for the future. I have one too. You go first. I say we're going to double our likes on Instagram yeah, because we, we did a top nine and we were twenty five thousand likes. So thank you to you guys who are actually tuning in. And clicking on our buttons. Speaking we like them buttons. of which, if you go to thecapelesscrusaders.com, I don't have the graphic. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do if that you hard. go to thecapelesscrusaders.com, you can find everything our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram. Sometimes Twitch. they're all the same thing, not always, though. Our Twitch, which some of you are already on, twitch.tv slash thecapelesscrusaders. The we Nightbot stream is on it. All the time. Piper does it all the time. Nightbot, way to be a bot. Thank you. Way to, what's the word I'm looking for? Way Plug. to be awesome. Insert. There's also on Realize. our website. Clutch. That's Coming on Clutch? For. Also on our website. Yes, oh. God. <laughs> the, Self, the microphone just picks it all up. So you can check out blog entries what? from the Azorian one. What? He recently reviewed Marvel's Punisher. Oh. He also reviewed the Doomsday <laughs> Clock. He reviewed uh, Justice League. You should always check it out. Because of Marvel's Punisher, I want to grunt and yell everywhere I go. Also, uh, Rainbow Dragon, thank you. It is You're welcome, capeless, girl. not capless. We That's had that true. problem over in Roy. In Roy, shout out to Roy Plays. Uh, who, yeah. We're we had also, a fantastic time in the candy store. So thank you for everyone uh, hanging out in our Twitch stream tonight. Thank you. There were uh, so many. We were so nice. Yeah, thanks for hosting us. Uh, Tim, oh. what's your question? Sna- uh, sneak it in. Uh, we are so excited. Under the wire. We're all we're like gonna staring wait, at the screen. Wait. Yes, you can get a Capeless Crusaders t-shirt eventually. We are working on those. Um, so <clears throat> I'm waiting, Tim. <laughs> Everyone just, Tim. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Are any of you coming um, to the con next weekend? Modesto? I believe it's Central Valley in Comic Con. In Modesto. Um, I can tell you... That I the would. Crusaders. I I would love to. I'm not gonna be hunt. I'm not. I'm little. 
<laughs> the chaplain's crusade. Cut, take two. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to with the current state of, uh, you know, the, the impending birth and expulsion of my child. The eviction. Uh, the eviction of, of from baby the Barry. Womb. <laughs> the eviction. Uh, so I'm of not. Of Mr. Barry. <laughs> Get out of that womb. <laughs> not sure. Evicted. Not that sure very, if that it'll. That was very paper esque. Uh, I like it. If it'll happen, but we will. We will keep because you know. I know. We know you're going to be there. Um, and Luke, some of us have chaps, so we're the nearly chapless crusaders. I got chaps. Anyway, for the capeless crusaders, <laughs> my name is David Barry at Dr. Barry on varying social media platforms. Hey, to my right, <gasps> adding to his wish list for 2018 that Chris Hardwick think that we rock. Ooh. This is the Azorian one. Anthony and Steve. Just don't listen to the first 25 episodes where I just rag on you. That didn't happen. No, nope, didn't I'm happen. it up to hey. I wasn't there for that. So, <laughs> this is Amy. You can find me at IJ New Robot on all of the social media, my thingy thingies, and stuffs and things. You can tune in here on Thursday nights to watch reaction videos, i.e. sit there, stare at my face while I turn to 30 seconds of a camera so you can see the movie that I haven't seen. Apparently, my Halloween episode was really, really funny. So good. So good. It made, it was so meaty. Seeing her freak out as Michael was attacking. I had, there was a couple of clips on that where I was saved by commercials. It was awkward. <laughs> um, <laughs> and if all else fails, I work in candy. We could sweeten your life up. Aw. Oh, hey. I like that. That was, that was adorable. So, for Curtis at Calm Down Roaning, at Existential Romeo, uh, Piper, the Mad Piper, his, his majesty, majesty, and Tom at Tall Dark. Not ugly on everything, on everything. everything. Still hasn't collected his Christmas gift. If we don't see you before the rest of the holidays, because our schedule is getting kind of wonky with everything coming up, we would just like to wish you and your family a lovely holiday, no matter what you celebrate and you don't celebrate anything. Goodwill and peace on earth and all that jazz. For the Capeless Crusaders, good night. Oh, good night. Uh, Christmas.